Well, with just hours left now in the year 2015, it is time to look back at the year that was. New at 6, our top 10 local news stories of 2015. 2015 got off to a rousing start when Ohio State won the first college football playoff and the national championship. Led by a third-string quarterback, the Buckeyes went in, facing questions about whether they belonged. But when the dust cleared in Dallas, there were no more questions. Ohio voters faced a major question in 2015, and with the nation watching, said no to legalizing marijuana. Concerns about creating marijuana monopolies sank this initial effort, but it opened the discussion of more conventional legalization plans in the new year. Speaking of votes, in July, Governor John Kasich announced he would run for president. The 63-year-old Republican launched his campaign before a boisterous crowd, but has struggled to emerge from a crowded GOP field. Still, he hails from a key state and may yet prove to be some sort of factor in the race. Also in politics, 2015 brought down the curtain on the highly influential career of John Boehner. The native son of Ohio, who rose to second in line to the presidency, resigned as Speaker of the House in September. The congressman had planned to step down at the end of the year, but turmoil within his party hastened his decision. The Ohio Department of Health announced that a record number of people died from drug overdoses this year. Fentanyl, often combined with heroin, was a significant contributor to the increase. And for the ninth straight year, drug overdoses topped car crashes as the leading cause of accidental death in Ohio. After nearly two years in the making, Fuyao Glass America began production in Moraine. Once the plant is at full capacity, it is poised to become the largest auto glass supplier in the world and will fuel thousands of jobs for many years to come. In May, an EF-1 tornado touched down in Beaver Creek, injuring two people and damaging 22 vehicles at the Green Crossing Shopping Plaza. The twister was captured by a nearby surveillance camera and also damaged more than 20 homes. February brought tragedy in Troy as three teens died of carbon monoxide poisoning. A fourth child was also in critical condition but survived. Investigators found it was caused by a blocked pipe connected to the home's furnace. In a world on heightened terror alert, there was concern in November when a man in a vehicle crashed through a gate at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base and made it inside a base building causing an evacuation. 32-year-old Edward Novak of Beaver Creek will face federal charges in the new year. And finally, and perhaps the miracle of the year, UD student Sean Ferguson survived being struck by lightning while walking across campus. And part of the miracle was one of the students who came to his aid had just learned CPR the day before. After months of physical therapy, including learning to walk again, Sean walked with his UD graduation class in December.